Hello everyone, my name is DevTech, and uh, today we're doing some more Evocron uh, Legacy uh, <laughs> tutorial. Right, so today we're going to be touching on the subject of the heads-up display, and you can see I've got the main um, reticule center the HUD information stuff all completely folded out. So let's just start here with everything. Um, uh, let's start at uh, bottom left, the little menu over here. I'm going to cut my speed here, actually. <laughs> um, right. Let's start with this window over here. We've got uh, the forward velocity up top, which I just canceled out. The set forward velocity, which is uh, when we thrust up a little bit. Um, the VVL, which is, I think, vertical velocity, if I remember correctly. Um, which can be, if I uh, thrust a bit to the right, you can see it with inertial. It's uh, that little bit over there. Um, <clears throat> underneath that, altitude, which uh, will only be, altitude will only be displayed if you're near a gravity well, such as a planet. Um... The IDS is, of course, your inertial dampening, which also helps you thrust around and fly around, which is very nice. Um, <clears throat> it can also be increased, by the way, by pressing uh, numpad 9, uh, which allows you to thrust a little bit faster, and then again a little faster. Um, <clears throat> and you can go back down with uh, 7. Just thought I'd add a, ought to mention that extra. Right, underneath the IDS, which is our iner inertial dampening system, which you can also turn off with space again, um, we have the fuel, uh, your amount of countermeasures, and then you have nav, weapon, and engine engineering, which uh, the numbers that are there uh, are basically how, how much health those subsystems have on your ship. So, if they're damaged, they'll display a different number than 100. If they're fine, they should just be 100. <clears throat> next to that, next to the fuel countermeasure and navigation, we have a little icon of your ship with the shields. If the shields are uh, green, that means they're just fine. Yellow means they're kind of weakened. And if they're tiny little red strips, then uh, they are damaged pretty severely and if there's no visible indicator then it's gone and you need to be careful <clears throat> right then up here we have the AVL which is uh, your god how does it says <coughs> your your AVL is just uh, absolute velocity what this means is um it is your velocity in relation to the galaxy, not any particular object. So not a station or the planet or anything like that. <clears throat> the absolute velocity is just the velocity that you're going through in space, which you can see like totally flip, uh, flip crazy when you're in a planet. Uh, underneath that we have gravitational velocity, which I think is how much velocity you're getting as a pull downwards. But don't quote me on that. And then we have horizontal velocity underneath that. These are over here, the right side. Um, next to that, we have uh, the power displacement. You can actually shift your power um, to boost your shield regen rate or shift away from the shield regen rate to boost the power resupply. Uh, which I can't remember for the life of me what buttons it is, but I'm sure I'll put on a little keyboard on the screen so you guys can see all of the key bindings that are default uh, for QWERTY. <clears throat> underneath those two things, uh, sorry, underneath the power, there is the weapons, which is the current uh, power level for your two weapons that are primary. And underneath that, you have your hull health. If the hull uh, bar is completely depleted, you'll explode. Um, underneath that, we have 1 to 8 with secondary to the next, uh, next to it. That is the uh, slots for 
your secondary weapons, which are generally missiles or stealth generators, stuff like that. Um, you can actually even have um, fuel pods in there in case you run out of fuel. Um, and that's all that window includes. Then we have the middle window over here, which is our uh, navigation radar thing. Um, you can kind of flick around in it with plus to switch it from, I think, top down to the actual nav ball. If I'll just turn around here, you can see how it turns. So you can see you're kind of in the center, and you can kind of navigate all around and find out what's going on in your nearby environment. Um, so, let's just flick in, into the cockpit, because else it's a bit hard to see sometimes with the engines. Um, right, next to that we have uh, nav. Not entirely sure what that is, but if I remember correctly, um, it should be the distance from your current nav point. Um, but I could be wrong with that. We have range. Not, I have no idea what that does. The mod is what which mode you're in. You have distance and direction. So, uh, and above that, THC again. Not too sure what that does because I've never seen it do anything. Um, underneath we have uh, radar and a whole bunch of little things. These are basically the um, indicators for stuff on your radar. Uh, the green means low thread, yellow means medium thread, red means high thread, uh, white means cargo that has been jettisoned or is just in space, uh, SDA means station, and NOID, I don't know why it's called NOID, but that is basically a warp gate, if I remember correctly. I don't know if uh, deployables also have the NOID color, the purple, or pink, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, that's just the explanation for these colors. Moving on to the right, we have um, the target information display, which basically shows the name of the current target, the threat level, which currently is low because they're not uh, enemies, their current forward velocity, so you know how fast they're going, their range, so you know how far they are away from you, and their little shield ship display with their hull, and you can see a visual indicator of their direction, which is very nice. If you have a scanner, a yeah, cargo scanner, I think, uh, you can check out their subsystems as well. And you can see them in here and their percentages of health. I do not. Now then, whilst the opportunity is going on, you can see over here when you have somebody targeted, you can see their hull really easily. You can see their uh, range up here, and their forward velocity. <clears throat> Actually, not forward velocity, sorry, um, absolute velocity. Uh, and the forward velocity is over there, which he just jumped out. Okay, then. <clears throat> so that's just what those are. Now then, <clears throat> let's do the top before I get started on the middle. At the top here, we've got the... Uh, main well a couple of buttons that are very useful to kind of flick around and information on your control and thrusters in case you are uh, intrigued you can see here the um, different velocities and stuff kind of being notated as well as uh, yaw pitch and I think roll is in here too somewhere but I can't really read them because it's too small on my screen um, <clears throat> so We've got a direction, uh, well, what do you call it, a compass? Yeah, a directional compass. So if I turn around, you can see it spins around. I really ought to turn off my ideas. <laughs> All right. Um, underneath that, you can see the exact number because the little compass isn't very exact. So you can see if I turn it slightly, it, it turns with, and the number increases or decreases at a turn. Underneath that, flight time of your profile it's not your current flight, but your profile in total. Um, right here we have the build menu, which can also be accessed by pressing F2. The nav menu can also be accessed by pressing 
uh, F1. We also have um, target, which allows you to target several things depending on what you want to do. You have the autopilot if you want quick access to the autopilot without bringing up the nav menu, um, which I will do a tutorial on later. Um, there is the inventory, which is F3. And we have next to that the trade menu, which I can't pull up right now because I'm not close enough to ship, but that's a four. Uh, you have fleet options. In case you have a fleet, you can give different commands to different fleet ships, um, or all of them. And you've got the formation thing, which allows you to form up with uh, your current target, which I am not going to do because um, I value life. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that all being said and done, <clears throat> uh, let's just move in. Okay. There we go. I have fully unlocked my mouse now. You can actually uh, fully unlock the mouse when you're in mouse movement if you hold both alt keys down on the keyboard. Uh, you don't have to hold them down. Just like press them once and then you get free mouse range. And you can undo it the same way. All right. So up here now, we have heat, so if you're having a lot of friction when you're on a planet, you'll see the heat kind of spiral out of control. Or if you're getting too close to the sun, you'll see the heat spiral out of control. And it serves as a warning indicator before your shields start getting hurt, so pay attention to it. Um, next to that, we have all. Now all, I didn't, I didn't mention it down here, but it's here as well, is actually weapon fire mode. You can cycle through, oh, dear God, what was that? You can cycle through um, the different fire modes by pressing. Ooh. I uh, don't know why that button isn't working for me right now. Hand. Nope. Beam's off. There we go. Sorry. I, was, I had my fingers on the wrong part of the keyboard. Right. <clears throat> so you can press N um, to change that mode. So you can fire part, which stands. Not for partial weapons, but it starts for particle weapons, which is just the cannon. Um, you can swap to beam, which fires only the beam cannons, and all to fire both, which is very handy in certain situations. Like if you're fighting, you don't always want to be firing uh, your particle cannons when the enemy is still shielded, because that's a waste of your power. You might as well fire your beams first, and you have more power for the beams and then down their shield, and then swap to the weapons, and do that, so on and so forth. So that's why that is handy. Um, on the other side, you have an indicator to your IDS, which, of course, I can swap with space between inertial and mm, IDS. <laughs> Apparently, having the full alt mode is a little bit breaking, since I can't press space again to turn it back on. No matter. We have, again, the gravitational velocity over here, the altitude over here, horizontal velocity over here, and the vertical velocity over here, and the absolute velocity down at the bottom. <clears throat> we also have the weapon and hull over here, and we have the forward velocity and target forward velocity over here. And you also have a nice little angle um, array here, like you would with fighter pilots on a little screen. Which is pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Um, so that's, that's alright. Um, so with that, you kind of have the whole lowdown on this kind of main screen that you'll be looking at most of the time. Just to kind of state, um... The main reason why there's so much information bunched up over here is basically the idea is whilst you're in combat, you should never have to look over here to the side of the screen to look at information. So it's all available right here. Um, so that you never really have to look away from your target whilst having uh, combat. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so that is basically everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye uh, for now.